Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Iris Craft Photography. Uh, this is the continuation of my previous video. As I told you, I'm going to create a lot of videos for the beginners in the photography. Uh, that I'm going to create a lot of uh, videos and step-by-step -step instruction how to use your camera uh, in a manual mode to use all the features in your camera. So today I'm going to explain about what is the DSLR camera first of all. Uh, this is the perfect example for the traditional DSLR. This is called uh, Nikon D7200 uh, with, the, with the Sigma 18 1.8 aperture. Con it's a constant aperture lens. So this is the per perfect match for this particular camera. This one is a perfect example for the mirrorless system. This is a Fuji X-T2. Uh, this camera is the most successful camera in Fuji lineup. Especially in Fuji cameras, you have a lot of dials on the top of the camera and also the lens has got a different features. So uh, in Fuji, especially in Fuji lenses, it has got a aperture ring to change the aperture whenever you want. And then you can use the dial, this one shutter speed dial to change your shutter speed. And this is the ISO dial, you can change the ISO whenever you want. And this is the exposure compensation dial, okay, just you can change the dial whenever you need. According to the light, the situation, you can tweak all this, uh, these dials as the way you... The main difference between this uh, traditional diesel or camera and the mirrorless camera is, first of all, this is uh, big in size. The lens also you can see now, the big in size and also it's very heavy to handle. And you know, for everything you have to go into the menu system and you have to press the menu and if you want to change anything you can go and change in the menu. Uh, there is no separate dial for all this um, aperture or uh, shutter speed or uh, exposure compensation or anything like that. And uh, so in the only one dial you have, that dial is called the mode, uh, mode dial. So you can change the dial into manual mode, automatic mode, or uh, this one uh, aperture mode, shutter speed mode, or program mode. These are the dial only modes are available. You can set this one, any one of the mode, and then you can take it. Normally what will happen, the beginners of the photography, even though they have a diesel or camera, they just uh, turn the mode dial into automatic and start taking pictures. When you do like that, what you are giving, so you are giving the full freedom to the camera to decide on its own. It will decide the aperture, it will decide the uh, shutter speed and also it will decide uh, the, the ISO depends on the situation which depends on the light condition. This The camera will take on its own. So you cannot use the camera features uh, in a useful way. Whereas in this Fuji camera especially, just you have uh, different uh, dials on top of the camera and you can change as the way you like and you can change everything. So you can take 100% in manual mode in this kind of cameras because it has got so many features uh, to operate the camera in a manual mode. Okay, though, so this is the main system between the mirrorless and also the traditional DSLR system. As I told you in the previous videos, uh, this videos I'm creating for the beginners in the field of photography. Uh, they may be intimidated by the, all the dials and features in the camera. That's why I'm explaining the very, very basic functions and features and what are all the dials and the buttons in the camera, whatever it may be, the mirrorless or DSLR camera. Okay, so these are the cameras you can take an example for the DSLR and also this is called the mirrorless system both are the very good cameras but both can be used in auto mode and also the manual mode so in future videos i'm going to explain about all the features how to use this camera in full manual mode and semi manual mode uh, so the semi manual mode is just you can set the camera into aperture mode and uh, dial the other uh, two shutter speed and the iso will be decided by the camera okay so the same way you can put the camera in uh, shutter speed mode and the aperture and the iso will be decided by the camera so you can take any of this into advantage to take the picture 
uh, depends on the scenario, maybe the light condition, maybe the situation, maybe the ambience or anything like. So you can change, you can set the camera into a full manual mode and use this all these features in a very useful way. So I'm going to create videos to explain about every feature in this camera and also whatever the camera you have, it is not a problem. Okay, it may be a mirrorless system like Fuji or this may be a traditional uh, DSLR camera. So the method of operation is same. Okay, you need not worry about the method will change in this camera on that camera. So it is not. So the method of operation is same for both the cameras so in future videos i'm going to explain every feature and also all the methods how to change all these uh, features like a starter speed iso and also the aperture and how to change the lens what are the different type of lens you can use how to use these cameras in the full manual mode i'm going to explain this to get all the videos please subscribe my channel and uh, like and share Okay, see you soon.